So no, and you shouldn't really strive for that because you have to understand how a negative loop works, which is what our endocrine system is designed to do. Specifically, the hypothalamic pituitary testicular axis, it's a negative feedback, which means that when one signal goes up, it drives another signal. And then when that signal goes up, the initial signaling agent drops. So when luteinizing hormone levels go up and you produce more testosterone, that testosterone production causes that LH level to drop. When you introduce exogenous levels of testosterone that are sufficient for your body, your luteinizing hormone levels will be suppressed. They will drop. So the short answer is no. The longer answer is we can mimic luteinizing hormone with luteinizing hormone analogs such as HCG. So a little bit of HCG drizzled, usually about twice a week on a low dose, can maintain testicular function. We use it in patients who want to prevent testicular atrophy, and only about 25% of patients actually do experience it, so it's not a one-size-fits-all. And we use it in patients who may want to conceive a child in the future, again, to maintain the latex cell activity within their testicles. So in the future, when they are ready to conceive, we can add in a medication called FSH, or follicle-stimulating hormone, which helps the production of sperm, also called spermatogenesis. So all of this could be done if we want to preserve some level of testicular function. Uh, but when it comes to actual hormone regulation, it's not needed. Your exogenous testosterone, when managed correctly, is more than sufficient to give you everything you'll need.